Hey friends, um, if we haven't met before, my name is Avery and I've just left on a long-term solo backpacking trip, uh, hopefully around the world. And uh, I'm in Kenmore, Alberta right now. And if you're interested in following along to check out my adventure, make sure to subscribe. But today I wanted to go through and kind of show you what I've brought in my carry-on only luggage to be gone for six months or more and all but the most extreme weather. So uh, let's dive right in. So since I'm a travel photographer and filmmaker, I want to talk about my camera gear first. So if that's not relevant to you, um, just skip to, I'll put the little timestamp up here. Uh, backpack first up is an Anya 40 liter from F Stoppers, I think. I bought it used, I've had it for like three years. It's amazing, um, kind of expensive, but really worth it on some a trip like this. And then this is a little packable 18 liter um, Flash 18 from REI and I'm gonna to switch to my phone and take you inside the camera bag. Okay, so in the back here, first up, um, I'll talk about my main camera first. This is the Panasonic Lumix S5. Um, it's a full frame mirrorless camera, great value. Um, and I'm using it mostly with adapted lenses. So I'm actually using Nikon lenses with manual focus because I manual focus most of the time anyway and it's a really good value. So this one that I have on here on the adapter is a 17 to 35 f2.8 with a little variable ND filter. And under here I've got a little ultralight medical kit. Um, just pretty basic, but always good to have. Up next, I've got a Nikon DSLR. This is a little D7200 that I have kind of as a spare camera and so that I have autofocus with this lens which is a 70 to 300 FX, so it does work on the Lumix with manual focus um, telephoto lens. So I like to get some really nice compressed landscape shots and for wildlife, um, I always like to have a telephoto. Then I've got my drone, which is the DJI Mini 2. Mini 2. Uh, it was cheap, I don't use it a ton, but it's really nice to have it when I do want it and it's under the 250 gram weight limit, so it's easy to fly in a lot of places. And then in this pocket, I've got the controller for the drone, um, battery charger for the Nikon, and a little travel tripod that I rigged up. So this is like the bottom part is actually from a gimbal that I bought. And then this top part is a Ulanzi ball head with an Arca Swiss quick release. And this is super, super nice. It's really sturdy. Um, it's not very tall, which is a bummer, but it's super strong and it packs down obviously really, really small. And then in this wallet, I just have another couple of filters. This is a Tiffin Black Pro Mist um, quarter, I think, and a really dark ND filter for long exposures. Okay, moving right along, we've got my Rode Video Micro. I've had this, I think this is the longest piece of gear that I've had. Um, I love it, they're cheap, totally recommend. And under that, I have a little vintage, um, 50 millimeter vintage Pentax lens that I use for video on the Lumix because it's got a really nice, just kind of vintage look. And then I use that adapted with a little EF adapter. And then buried in this last little pocket, I've got like a spare lens cap, um, a phone mount for a tripod, and a little SD card wallet. Um, just spare SD cards, pretty basic and a step-up ring to be able to use the different filters on my different lenses. And moving up the bag, um, I'll show you what I've got in the top, the very top up here has, uh, normally I have my GoPro up here, but it's in my other bag, but I've got a little beanie, uh, my old mountain bike gloves, but these are super light and they're pretty warm, so nice to have them. Uh, a bunch of granola bars. And then in here I've got like a buff, um, a face mask for the airplane and, and whatnot. This is a little Sawyer water filter. Um, I always like to travel even if I'm staying mostly in hostels. I like to have at least like a water filter with me. Um, and in addition to that, I've got a spork, uh, some chapstick, oops, dropping things, a bag, <laughs> pretty sketchy looking bag of pills, but this is mostly just like aspirin and some vitamin B12. And I've got my little BRS. This is a little titanium backpacking stove. So if I did decide to do some camping, I'd always have this with me. And this would be expensive to replace. And it's so small that it 
takes up no room. Oh, and on the outside, I have my flip-flops, my Nalgene, and in here, on the very outside of the pack, I have a sun hat that I found on the side of the road, my towel, and now in the main compartment, I have my to toiletries. This is like deodorant, my toothbrush, a razor, and a little thing of Dr. Broner's soap. This is an orange exercise band, and I didn't used to carry one of these, but they're super, super nice if you get really tired traveling or you just wanna work out. Um, it's super small, and it's tied up right now with a little volet strap, as is this. And these are super nice, they're cheap, and I got them for bikepacking, um, but they're really nice to be able to just organize things, or if I needed to strap something to my backpack, for example. So there's that, and then this is a little titanium cook pot that, again, I'm not gonna be using regularly, but if I do go camping, it's nice to have. And stuffed really tight in here is my rain jacket. So I just keep that in here, it's easy to get to, and it doesn't really take up any extra space. And under all that, I've got my Patagonia flannel. This is just a nice extra layer. And last thing in this bag is my packing cube, shoved really tight in here with all of my clothes. This thing weighs what feels like 10 pounds. And it's rolled and compressed really, really tight but it fits all of my clothes for about a week. Rolled up really tight in here, I've got another pair of jeans, and my trick to have two pairs of jeans is to always wear one when I'm traveling and at the, at the airport. Um, I've got a pair of hiking pants, a nice button-up, um, and I have four shirts. I have this, this button-up, and then under there two slightly different colored but plain wool t-shirts and these are a total game changer because you can wear them for two or three days at a time they don't smell and then if you leave them overnight they like they just magically clean themselves it's crazy i was in hawaii for a month and i only wore these two shirts the entire time and without doing laundry <laughs> it was awesome um a little tank top and then under here i've got four pairs of socks three pairs of underwear which are wool so again they like they don't smell and then two pairs of swim shorts and these are ones like kind of a colorful fun and one's just plain black and i use these both as just normal shorts and then a pair of long johns uh, if it gets really cold and that is it for my clothes besides another sweater which is in my other bag which i will show you now and real quick i'll take you through the stuff i've got in here um, i just wear this on the front of myself and it's really nice to be able to have a smaller day pack when i get to where i'm going and i want to go out for a day trip or a little hike uh, this is much much nicer than carrying on the big huge backpack um, got another sweater usually i'd be wearing this like in the airport but it's gorgeous and hot out right now in here this is a little patagonia hip bag um, this is multi-purpose also. I can take everything out and use it like on a run or something if I do want a hit bag, but I use it to store. Um, I've got my iPhone charger, my Mac charger, a little power bank, um, my hard drives, my AirPods, and my passport. Next, I've got my GoPro. Um, this is a GoPro 8, 8, and I've got a little swivel mount on here. This is my favorite mount, uh, it's magnetic and makes like a good little micro selfie stick. It's easier to hold on to, um, and it just it sticks on anywhere. I've got my travel adapter charger thing. Um, this is awesome because it has a USB-C like high output, so I can charge my Mac straight from here without having to have the white wall block. And it's just got the different like um, US, UK, and European style plugs, and a couple USB outlets on the bottom. Oh, and I'll try to link to a lot of this stuff in the description. Um, I've got affiliate links set up, so if you purchase through those links, it helps support the channel. And at the very bottom, I have a couple more granola bars and my puffy jacket. And I keep my puffy in a dry bag because it helps kind of compress it and it keeps it dry in case it were to start raining. But this is just an outdoor research men's something or another puffy. It's really warm, um, kind of expensive, but I wouldn't go anywhere without it. And last but not least, I have my M1 MacBook Air in this little padded sleeve. This is the perfect computer, I think, for just about anybody. It's fast enough to edit 8K raw footage, but it's, well, 
you can see it's tiny and it weighs almost nothing. So this comes with me anywhere I go, even on my bike tour that I just finished. All right, well friends, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful for some of you and at least entertaining. I know I, people ask me all the time how I'm able to fit everything I need for a long, long distance travel into such a small bag. Um, it's taken a bit of practice and bringing things that I don't need, like the Nikon DSLR, I don't actually need that and I might end up selling it, but you know, you live and you learn. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to check out more, uh, more videos coming up soon and I'll see you next time.